Welcome to Speaking of Coasters, the show that takes where I take multiple things going on in the coaster industry and mash them all up into one big video. Sorry for the lateness and sorry for the all made bed. This is 7 o'clock um, or 7.30 p.m. at the time I'm making this video. I fell asleep. I, I've just been so sleep deprived this whole week. Um, and sorry for the lateness. Uh, but welcome to Speak of Coasters. Today I'm going to talk about multiple different things. So let's get into it. Um, okay. Starting at California's Great America. California's Great America has recently just updated, um, or has just recently announced that they are going to add a, um, a brand new picnic pavilion. So it's going to be 18,000 square feet and it's going to be for multi-purpose events. Um, it's going to be called Great America Pavilion. Um, it's going to be used to house the Red Zone Rally pregame events for all the 49ers home games as well as other events um, that will take place at Levi's Stadium right across the street. Um, they plan to open this uh, three hours before the kickoff of all home games. So, very exciting. Um, I'm very excited to see how this turns out because that is a great addition for the park. Now moving on to its sister park, Six Flags Great America. Um, Goliath has officially opened, and um, it's opened up to rave reviews. Uh, there's a lot of people who really, really like it. Um, there's a few Debbie Downers here and there, but otherwise, all the reviews have been really, really good. Um, and it's a great ride. Um, lines have been long, and uh, the crowd has been um, flowing in ever since. Um, now moving on to Six Flags Great Adventure, and um, Zoom and Jaro Drop a Doom uh, is um, has been delayed, and delayed and delayed. Um, we have received many. We've received like shots of it testing and PLVs of it from Six Flags. However. Today, on June 30th, um, the park finally announced on their Twitter, um, Zoom and Jaro Drop of Doom, July 3rd, will have a season, season pass preview event, and the ride will open to the public on the 4th of July. So let me know what you guys think of the 4th of July opening for a new ride. Is it good? Or is it bad? Um, now let's move on to Schlitterbahn. In Kansas City or Kansas City Kansas okay so at the Kansas City location they have been having troubles opening up Verut which is their brand new state-of-the-art um, biggest water slide in the world uh, and yeah um, it's, it's been having a terrible time trying to get it open. Um, they canceled the media event preview they had planned to hold a few weeks ago. And, um, only a few humans have been allowed to do it besides the test dummies and more changes are still being done to it. Um, there's been, um... There's been changes in its visibility. Uh, the bottom of the first drop has been raised. And um, the entire run has now been enclosed inside netting. So um, we saw that in a season pe preview video. And this ride is just, it's not getting a break. It's the world's going to be the world's tallest water slide at 168 feet and 7 inches. But... They have the park has not been able to announce a new date to reopen the slide, um, so hopefully we'll find out something new and you'll find out and speak of coasters. Uh, going over to Six Flags Magic Mountain, uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain has been setting a proper uh, send off 
for the Colossus. As you know, it and the 36 year reign ends on June 6th or August 16th. And um, there has been different things going on over there, such as like some different like I've heard of a coaster car there where you it's and like those little things where you pop your head in and then it's like bodies and stuff. Uh, they even have new, they even have a moose. Uh, if you saw National Lampoon's Vacation, um, it and it says sorry folks with the official mo- announcement about Colossus shutting down. Moving on to um, Six Flags, New England, and they have confirmed the closure of their Cyclone roller coaster. It's going to be the um, it's going to close forever on July twentieth. So you have the last chance to ride it. Um, maybe we see a steel cyclone as we may see an iron colossus. Most likely knowing how Six Flags works with closing wooden coasters besides Rolling Thunder. But that was a different story. Because um, that needed to be removed to make room for Zoom and Jaro. Um, but with that too... We won't know until time starts getting closer to the announcements, but I can tell you right now that I t- definitely think um, that it'll be a ILOX treatment on that. Um, now, most recently, Six Flags overall, they have um, announced that they will be um, partnering with... F- uh, partnering with some other companies in uh, in China to open a um, a few Six Flags branded branded theme parks over the next decade in China. So Six Flags is getting out of that North American just radius that it has right now, just staying in North America. We're seeing it with Six Flags Dubai Land. And we're going to see it go even more international and even more big with uh, Six Flags Parks in China. Now, last but not least, going into the very first, um, the very first um, Six Flags Park, Six Flags Over Texas. Two things about this park. They have announced that um, starting July 1st or 4th, Batman will be going backwards, so it will no longer be uh, Batman backwards at Magic Mountain. It will now go over to over Texas. And now, um, we have no clue what's coming to over Texas for 2014, but um, construction has apparently begun to repurpose the park's old Adventure Theater building. Uh, so may it be a dark ride or, um, where it might be coming, uh, more construction has been going on over the, by the cyclone or by the sky coaster where, um, there's been, uh, concrete footers. Yeah, it's probably not going to be a dark ride. I can tell you that. There's also, they had to close the Roaring Rapids ride, and, um, yeah, um, it's definitely going to be something interesting for Six Flags over Texas, um, construction equipment, like I said, is appearing, concrete footers of some kind in the water reservoir area, uh, it will not be, uh, They weren't there um, in an old image um, before then. So whatever they're planning to build here, it appears that they will have to remove the Sky Coaster in order to do it. Uh, personal opinion, Sky Coasters are kind of getting like out there. Uh, they're like not nearly as possible as they were. Like They draw a crowd, don't get me wrong, 
but they don't get draw a crowd as much as other things. Like, if you get what I mean. So, yeah, this was a really boring and unthought out episode. I apologize. I'm just not feeling good and stuff like that. Um, and I promise next week will be, or the next episode will be much better. Probably won't be until Saturday or Sunday again because I'm getting back from camp. Uh, right there. I'm going to uh, help at scout camp. So I'll have one more trip to Great America before I go to camp on the 6th and I'll be back the 12th. So I'll see why I can get in and um, hopefully I can keep you guys up to date. Uh, so with that being said, this is Nick Cause for Speaking of Coasters, signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Adios.